ready for the word of God and certainly this man of God needs no introduction. He is the senior pastor of the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I want everybody to stand to your feet at this time, everybody that can, as we present to some and introduce to others what a mighty man of God allow God to use him in such a way. He's none other than our pastor, Pastor Dennis J. Rogers, Sr. Let's receive him by giving God a good hand praise. Amen. Before I go into my prayer this morning, praise is I need just a little bit more of that brother right. Amen. Because the Lord keeps on doing great things, not just for me, but I know this is part of your testimony today as well. Amen. We can be sad and sorrow valid. Amen. But I need for you to this morning to get with me. Amen. And think on the good things that the Lord has. Has anybody got some good things that you really can think on and give God praise? Amen. In spite of all that I've been through, I still have joy. Come on. Come on. Right on. That's it. Think about it. Think about it. Providing for us. You 
receive this service here real soon. Ella Quick, listen to me, Ella Quick. I want you to get a wide view right about now. I want you to open up the lens right now. Because listen, we finna thank God for them. We finna let them know, because we have our freedom, we have a reason and a right to get, Ella Quick, are you ready? Are the lens wide open? Listen, all over this building, I want you to put those hands together and give God a thunderous praise for those men that are down there in common prison, that are praising God, that are magnifying God, that are giving God the glory. Because I want y'all to come back tonight. Amen. It's time for us to get it right with the Lord. God is not just a Sunday morning God. Amen. But he's here on Saturday and Sunday nights. And he's here on Thursday nights. And I come to remind a few of you all that really need something from God. When you're really ready to get serious with God, then God is going to show you what he's really capable of doing. But amen, but if he's just your Sunday morning, God, well, amen, well, he's going to continue to provide for you on Sunday morning. But when you really get ready and hungry and thirsty for righteousness, when you're really ready to receive that miracle that God has for you, I dare you to come and stay tuned on Sunday night. I dare you to make your way back to this house on Thursday night. The same God is here. I know you've been praying. I know you've been fasting. But God say, he'll know when you're ready to receive what you've been praying for. Right now, you ain't ready. You ain't ready. Because if you were ready, you'd get serious. If I, when I asked First Lady Rogers, when I asked her for her hand in marriage, if I told her I'm going to be with you six months out of the year, amen, and then the other six months I'm going to have somewhere else to go, I'm sure she would have told me I ain't ready. I'm just making it plain. Deuteronomy, the first chapter. Deuteronomy, the first chapter. Six, seven, and eight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God wants you all to move from worrying to peace. Can I tell y'all that? That ain't the top of my spirit. But I just heard the Lord speak that in my spirit. He wants you all to move from worrying to peace. Yes. Yes. Yes, Worrying causes you to do so many other things that are not out of your character. Yes. Worrying takes you out of your character. You are still. You are lie. You do everything in the book that you're not supposed to do because of worry. But when you turn some things over to the Lord, I don't know why he's carrying me this way this morning. But when you turn some things over to the Lord, you find yourself on straight street. Didn't y'all say Jesus was a friend of mine? Deuteronomy. One, six, seven, and eight. Uh huh. The Lord our God spake unto us in her, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey and go to the Mount of Amorites. And unto all the places now there unto. In the plain, mm -hmm. in the hills, yes. and in the valley, and in the south, yes. and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, yes. and unto Lady. 
unto the great river, the river of Euphrates. And that last and final verse reads, it said, Behold, I have set thee land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto you, your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And God's word is blessed. If I could have your attention just for a few minutes, amen. Just for a few minutes, I want to drop this on you, amen, and then I'm going to my seat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where do we go from here? Look at somebody and tell a neighbor, where do we go from here? From here. The subject today in the form of a question. Mm-hmm. Of a question. Yet it causes us to approach with specificity. Where are we now? Where are we now? I'm learning that many people don't like to admit where they are now, amen, especially if where they are is no good. Oh, I know I'm in the house. But before you can go, amen, to a better place, you must be willing to admit that the place that you are in now is no good. Uh, you got to admit it. You got to admit it. If you're lost, stop wasting time. If you're lost, stop burning gas. Stop driving around, amen, amen, like you know where you're going and you know that you're lost. Stop and ask somebody for some directions. Good God. If you turn around and stop and ask for direction so you can get back on the right path. Tell somebody, I want to get on the right path. I got to get on the right path. But don't get so distracted. That you ask the first person, amen, whom you come in contact with. Because they may knock you over the head, amen. They may take you for all, all you got, amen. And then the last place will be the first place that you can remember of. Desperation sometimes can be good. But desperation at other times, amen, can cause you to mistake or misjudge your surroundings. I'm talking to somebody today that need a word from the Lord today. The Greek interpreters call, amen, the book of Deuteronomy, amen, the second law. Amen, it is the common name, amen, identified as Moses' farewell address to Israel prior to his demise. He underscores, amen, and he repeats, amen, many of the laws of God, amen, that the people received at Mount Sinai and challenges Israel, amen, you and I, to remain faithful unto God for continuing prosperity. Listen, there's a lifestyle that we got to live if we want the continued blessings from the Lord. Good God of mine. There's one thing that I've learned, amen, that if, if you want God, amen, to continue to bless you, you got to continue to be faithful to God. Good God from heaven. So many times, amen, this is where we miss, amen, the boat because God blesses us, then we become lax. I got the fine house now, I'm all right. I got, I, I, I got my automobile, amen, that I've been wanting, amen, for a long time. I'm all right now. Y'all go ahead with Sunday night, sir. I'll catch up with you when you can, when I can. Mm. It's quiet. It's not until we 
run out, amen, unto some problems. Then all of a sudden we put the prayer wheel into motion again. All of a sudden we get back on fire for the Lord. But we need to stay on fire. Somebody say stay on fire. We need to stay on fire for the Lord. You see, you see, if you want to continue blessing, if you want to live in the overflow, if you want to live in the abundant favor of God, then you cannot play with God and only serve him through the good days. You got to serve him through the good times. And then you got to serve him, amen, when times are not so good. You got to serve him when you're happy. And then you got to serve God, amen, when there's sadness in your heart. Am I helping somebody? Now? You got to, amen, let God know that my faithfulness to you is not based on where I am right now, but my faithfulness to you is based on who you are and what you mean to me. Somebody ought to clap their hand and give God some. My faithfulness to you is, is not based on my financial condition yes, this morning. Yes, it's not based on my mental state this morning. Yes, it's not based on my physical condition. Yes, but it's based on where I am in you. Yes, 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 Somebody say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Don't know about you, but maybe... You don't enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Maybe you don't enjoy, enjoy everything that God has done for you. Maybe you don't want all of his continuing blessings. But as for me and my house, God of life. I have to take the offering and right there. I said, but as for me and my house, I mean I want everything. Good God of life. I want better health. Yeah, yeah. I want, amen, longevity of life. Amen. I want to be able to understand, amen, and comprehend. I want to be able to think right, amen, and positive. Anybody want some of these blessings? Huh? Notice I didn't mention a fine house. Notice I didn't mention, amen, a nice car. And those things are good to have. But that's just some things that God around. That means just a little bit more to me than having a fine automobile. There's a few more things to me that mean more to me than living in a, a nice house. Lord knows I'd like to have one. But there's just a few more things that mean a little bit more to me. Good God of mine, than I have a pocket full of money right about now. I need Jesus. I wish I could get about 25 people in a room that could agree with me and hold your head back and say, I need a little more Jesus. Just a closer walk with Jesus. Lord, if you please. I need a daily walk with the Lord as I travel down life highways. I find myself tripping over this and I trip over that every now and then I'm reminded about that thing of a Jesus and that watch of a call that the Lord delivered me from good God of mine I don't know what yours was yours may have been smoking some reefer been drinking some drinks that you had no business but as for me and my house when I find myself Get ready to trip over those things. I say I'm not where I need to be. I'm not where I ought to be. But I find myself moving a little bit closer to Jesus. I may need a little closer walk with the Lord. Come on, put those hands together. I give God some praise. I want everything. I want everything. My faith has to be everything. To a high Left. Uh, I can't afford, I can't, I can't afford to be around people. Good God of who are 
are doubters. Yeah, we all got some of those in our life who are haters. Anybody got any haters beside me? Good God, my people who don't want to see me accomplish anything. People who don't want to see me go anywhere. People that don't want to see me advance in the kingdom of God. But I need to surround myself with somebody that loves God. That's walking according to his purpose. That know the Lord. That walk with the Lord. That got a proud life. Just a closer walk with the Lord. Good God of People that don't mind seeing me advance. People that want the right thing for me. Good God of God never, I said God never, wants us to stay where we are. He always wants us to go higher and a deeper depth. He always wants us to take a higher ground. Good God of So Moses, somebody help me say Moses. I feel like preaching this morning. Good God of I feel somebody pushing me in my back. And I know it's the Holy Ghost this morning. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost, keep doing what you do. In the name of Jesus. Israel gives them a friendly reminder. And he tells them that everything that God did for them, good God of life, when you were in each, when you were in bondage, when you were being beaten by the enemy, God said that I was still right there. I come to tell somebody, you may find yourself in sorrow's valley. Can I remind you this morning that God is right there. You may find yourself being broke, busted, and disgusted. Can I tell you God is right there? Good God of mine. You might find yourself lonely, waking up in the midnight hour. Seem like all the cares of this life is weighing you down. And when you wake up, your pill is soaked with tears. I come to tell you this morning, God is right there. Good God of life. I want you to know everything. He's watching everything that they did to you. I want you to know he's watching everything that they said about you. He's watching. Somebody help me say watch the plans and the plots that the enemy has set before the traps, the holes, the ditches that the enemy dug for you. God is watching. Good God of life. The trap beating, making you lose your womanhood. The traps, making you lose your manhood. And God said, God said, let me say God said, I saw everything that they did always. That's what I want to tell somebody. You're not going to always be where you are right now. He said, I'm going to deliver you when I deliver you. You're coming out with more than what they took. Oh, good God of life. Right there is a good praise to give God some praise. If you really want more than what the enemy stole from you, if you really the enemy took from you. I wish you'd stand up all over this room and say, Lord, give it back. Let me find that the enemy took from me. Give it back. Let me find that the enemy stole from me. And I want you to throw your strength and find it back with a loud voice that's going down inside your belly.
taken by force. I'm not going to sit down and play patty cake and say, woe is me. They took everything. They stole my cat. They stole my dog. They took my hamster. Came in and got my goldfish. Good God Almighty. But I want everything. For my life. Y'all hear me? I'm fighting for my life. This ain't no play pretty. I'm fighting for my life is at stake. Some say I'm running, running, running. And I can't tell. So excuse me if I step over you to get my joy. Excuse me if I step over you to get my money. Excuse me if I step over you to have my health restored. I got to get everything. Lift those hands all over this day. Say, Lord, I want everything. Give me everything, God. I need more of you, most of all, God. Just a closer walk with you today, God. Just a closer walk with you today, God. It will make everything all right. Every time I try to put my hands to it, it keeps on messing up. I get this hand fixed, then the other side pops up. It's like we're on the seesaw of life. One end gets heavier, then the other one end pops up. Love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday, 